Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to download and install MySQL database on Windows operating system. So here you will type simple MySQL. It will redirect you on the official web page of MySQL database. Click on it. So here, this is the official web page of MySQL database. Go to the download section. Inside it, you have to select MySQL Community Downloads. Click on it. Inside this page, click on MySQL Installer for Windows. And here you will get the latest version of MySQL Database Installer on Microsoft Windows Operating System. Here you will get two MSI installer. First one is for Web Community. Second one is for MySQL Installer Community. So I will go for this second option, go to download. Skip this login and sign up option. Just click on no thanks. Just start my download, click on it. So here we go, you can see your MySQL installer has been downloaded or it is downloading. So it will take 30 to 40 seconds to download your MySQL setup. Let us wait for 30, 40 seconds. Okay, so your setup is almost completed. Here you can see my SQL installer community edition software is almost completed and downloaded. You can go to the folder and start the setup. Right click on it, go to install and your setup has been started. Click on yes. Your MySQL installer configuration setting has been started. Click on yes. And here you can see MySQL installer 1.6 is ready to install in your machine Windows operating system. So here is the list of different setup types. You can Install server only, client only, and you can install the full setup or you can go for the custom option. So right now I am going for full installation. Go to next. So in full installation, the following product will be installed like MySQL server, workbench, shell, router, MySQL documentation, simple and examples. So all these product will be installed. Click on execute. So you can see here my SQL server is installing and its progress is 73% you can see on the progress bar. So to install all these products, it will take four to five minutes. So let us wait for five minutes. So this setup will be installed. Okay, so you can see the following product has been installed successfully go to next go to next next and here you can enter your password so i am using root r o o t you can use the same password or you can choose the different password also it is showing this is a weak password you can enter your strong password i am using root password go to next here you can see Windows service name MySQL 80 by default it is using but this is used in my machine already so that your next button is disabled but that will not in your case. So you can change the name like I am using here 83 so you can see the next button is enabled. So go to next, next and execute. So your Configuration steps are executing on the background. It will take hardly 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so it is completed. Click on finish. Go to next and finish. 
click on next again and here you can enter your password so previously you have used the password i have used root you can use the same password and click on check so you can see it is showing connection succeed if it is not showing connection succeed your setup will not stall properly so please check this part your password must be correct here go to next and execute it will take 5 to 10 seconds okay it is completed go to finish and again next click on finish so almost your setup is ready and you can see this is your my sql shell where you can write your queries so the current version is my sql shell 8.0.37 so here you can write your queries so i will not work on my sql shell so i'm just closing it and you can see on the back end here your mysql workbench is ready you can write your queries you can create your database you can create database tables on it so this is a graphical user interface where you can create your database and your tables so click on this mysql connection you can see it is showing local instance of mysql 80 it is showing the username is root and in my case the password was also the root and it is saved in this mysql workbench so click on it click on this ignore this part so here you can see this is the first window of your mysql workbench here you can see the local instance mysql 80 on the left side you can see the three different schemas like databases sakila sys and world so these are the default database if you will explore sakila it contains multiple tables like actor address categories so i think this is a movie database so these database are installed automatically and will came with your mysql workbench so if you would like to create your own database or you would like to create your own data table so you can create here you can go below to the file menu you can see there is an icon create a new sql tab for executing your queries so you can click on it so here you can write your queries or you can execute your queries below this query you can see there is a icon create a new schema right create a new schema in the connected server if you would like to create your new database you can click on it so in order to create some data table first you will create your schema or your database so for example you would like to create new database so i am using the database name is j code book you can write your database name you can choose any other name go to apply and here this is a query to create your database click on apply here and finish it on the left hand side you can see under a schema tab the new database is created j code book inside it if you will explore it there is a option of tables but we don't have any tables right now you can create multiple tables inside this schema or database name j code book so guys this is the overview of your mysql database here you can create your database and your data tables so i hope you understand and you have installed mysql database on your windows operating systems so guys this is all about for today's session in the next class or in the next video session i will help you to understand how to create multiple tables inside a database j code book so guys thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day